everyone welcome to your video so as you all know that we are continuing with the list of series and in this video i am going to solve one of the exercise of sentence equivalence this is going to be exercise number 81st of manhattan and in this video i'll be telling you some of the tricks like in every video we do come and practice some of the situations like if such question appears or there's an elimination method there's a vocabulary test and we try to solve the questions through the tricks like if while comes if whereas comes if although comes if though comes so more you practice more perfect will you will be and easily you will be able to crack tri so let's get started and do remember that whenever there's a comma pause over there make a demarcation understand the first meaning then switch to the next what kind of an options are there and do remember that you will have to choose two options so basically you have got six options out of which two and two like three pairs will be existing so two synonyms are need, need to be got right so the sentence is though the majority of rules in sports are physically described in rule books comma pause over there now first thing that you need to remember that there is a though though means that after this in the first sentence the second sentence there will be a change in situation like what they want to say is though the majority of rules that there are some rules which are used in sports and they are described so if they are telling out that first the rules are described means in the later the rules won't be described and some of the rules need not to be described because those are quite obvious so there is dash code of conduct that relates to sportsmanship now some of the rule there is a rule book for every sports you need to do this 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 but do you think the basic moral values or something that are not described that are quite obvious that you need to be true and you need to be very you play with the sportsmanship you need not to um, be bad to anyone or something like that so there they means to say is that though means like this is described and the later part is not described so this is obvious something related to it right now you have got six options what are the options tacit evanescent incorrigible unambiguous blatant and implicit now if you figure it out like i'll tell you some of the options give us very clear indication now go with the tacit what is the meaning of tacit tacit means something that is understood without question so something that is understood without any question so that is termed like something that is very clear to you that can be called as tacit second is your evanescent evanescent means that is something fading or vanishing with the passage of time like something which lives for a very short interval something that is disappearing or you can call it as vanishing can be called as evanescent next you have is incorrigible incorrigible means that something that is not able to uh you can say reform itself something that is long standing or conformed so you can call it as long standing or conformed not changing itself so do not reform itself next is unambiguous ambiguous is something that has got hidden meaning unambiguous is something with the very clear meaning okay like no hidden meaning that can be called as unambiguous or simply you can say is that which has got only one interpretation so unambiguous is which has got a hidden meaning also and in unambiguous you can say it which has only one meaning one fixed meaning that can be called as unambiguous next you have is blatant blatant means something that is done openly that something uh, you can call it as unless uh, you are not ashamed of doing it so when you do it openly and you are not uh, ashamed of doing it that can be called as blatant and the last is implicit what do you mean by implicit implicit means that suggesting uh, that is something that is directly expressed like that is assumed from the uh, very start that can be called as implicit now you have got these six options we need to have something that is related to obvious now if i say if answer there is nothing like disappearing and vanishing eliminate it out this gets eliminated we are not thinking about something that is conformed long standing incorrigible gets eliminated out now we have 
four other options. There is nothing like one meaning, two meanings, three meanings. So no one meaning. So that even gets eliminated unambiguous. Blatant, we are not talking about something that is done openly. So that even gets eliminated. We are left with two options that are tacit and implicit. Both means that is done something and that is something assumed. That is something very obvious, very clear. Uh, we not, need not even say it and we have to do it. So that is there, tacit and implicit. Moreover, I tell you like some of the words like three options. This unambiguous was given to confuse you out because people will like, okay, this is also means give us one clear meaning. So that was like you need to demarcate it out which option fits the best. What is an expression given? The word though always sets up a contrast. So you need something for the blank that means the opposite of physically described in rule books. One is described, that one is not described. Both tacit and implicit means implied but not plainly expressed. So that is unambiguous or blatant have the opposite meanings, right? So something that is implied. So here we have obvious and that is tacit and implicit. So what is tested? I told you that is something implied but not directly stated. That is thought like it would happen like this only, natural. And then as your can scale it as alluded, elusive, assumed, hinted at. So that is tested. All the no words were spoken, our nods expressed a tested agreement to ceasefire. Like when you nod it out, that means you're agreeing to that thing. Implicit. That is when you are understood so not clearly or directly said. Like you do not need to say it, but that is directly assumed. Although you never stated I could use your car, your permission was implicit when you handed me your car keys. Like if you're giving the car keys, that means you can drive it out, you can take it or wherever you want. Next is your incorrigible, that is something that is hardened, abundant or beastly. Invasant, that is something that is a fleeting or you can say vanishing, disappearing with the passage of time. Lasting for a very short time, that is termed as evanescent. Last is your blatant. Blatant means something that is bald, brassy, completely obvious, especially in an obvious manner. Like you openly say it and you are some generally harming someone with your words. When the judge heard the defendant's blatant lie, he became very angry. So that is something that is very completely obvious. So that was all seen. There are just tactics and that you need to remember, although comes uh, the uh, sentences with although. Uh, there are a number of sentences in GRE with all them. All you need to remember is there will be a change in situation. First say something different, other will say the vice versa. And six options make it very clear. And these words can actually be hacked by learning high frequency words. Do not forget those videos also because those videos are very helpful. Why? Because you will be learning all the words, all the options. And if you are clear with the options, obviously you will be able to target this GRE in one go. So all the best, keep preparing and do wonders in your life and we are coming with a soon next trick and next video. Bye-bye.